Imagine you had a rat. You love your rat. More than life itself, you love that little creature. He's a cute little guy. Now imagine you also have a cat. You also love your cat very much. Now, you've got a problem on your hands. These two creatures you love so much, orthologically opposed, all they want from each other is death. And you think to yourself, what did my mother use when me, my brother, my sister were fighting? And it occurs to you, the get along shirt. That's right, didn't come off. What if these two diametrically opposed enemies of nature could become something greater? What if through the strength of love and rematerialization, they could achieve something better? What if you could solve nature's greatest tragedies through the miracle of science? What if you could play God? And what if you were 10 years old? Pokemon Infinite Fusion a Pokemon fan project based on a meme generator created by Japil and developed by a user named Shroms. Based on the first generation of the Pokemon series, the story does still follow some of the archetypical stepping stones of Pokemon, but with a number of twists and events thrown on top. For example, automated conversations with the Pokemon Center, nicknaming Pokemon from the summary menus. An integrated speed up button, because sometimes you have to grind for three hours and it makes you want to kill yourself. Can I say that in the first three minutes of the video? With eight additional badges, making for 16 total in one game, multiple generations of Pokemon, one through four, and a number of secrets, route changes, Easter eggs, and a variety of things that come up that really I could go and explain here forever, but just play the game, you know what I mean? Obviously, the biggest change here comes from the title itself, Infinite Fusion. What does that mean? Let's talk about it. Number one, how does it work? DNA splicers. Literally, you, a 10-year-old child, may obtain DNA splicers. Like things out of Star Trek. Legally. To start fusing the local dogs and raccoons in all of the alleys near your house into terrible creatures of the night. For a mere 200 poke coins, you, a 10 year old, may fuse together raccoons <laughs> for 200 smackers. Any given child on the street may fuse dogs, raccoons, creatures, people into combinations that, to be honest with you, I'm not sure could survive outside of containment. I'm talking. The inability to breathe correctly. I'm talking melting apart by its very nature. I'm talking fish that walk around and have six arms. Do not get me started on the bug type combinations. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck so bad. Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh... Between you and me, it's kind of fun. So naturally, where there is an affront to God, pseudo streams will be found. So I thought I'd play the game. But the thing about me is that I'm kind of a freak. If there's not a sacrifice to be made, what's the point? I can't just play a game for kids. No, I need to be in a needlessly difficult situation that will inevitably upset me, or else why am I playing the video game? And this is Pokemon, so that leaves only one option. Enter. The Pseudo Lock, a customized challenge for my stream that fans of the channel might be familiar with. What is that? How is it different than the average Nuzlocke? That's such a great question. Let me tell you. Here are the stakes. Nuzlocke rules. Relatively unchanged, but a little bit of modifications. One Pokemon per route. Except, if I have no Pokemon that I confuse this first catch of the route with, then I'm allowed to get a second Pokemon because I'm not here to play with these little stupid little Pokemon that are standards, I want to play God. I want to feel like the Professor X of Pokemon. I want daughters. I want daughters with eight legs. I want daughters with six arms. I want daughters with other daughters sprouting out of it. Number two, you must nickname said Pokemon immediately. Chat is allowed to spend the points from my channel if they want to name two creatures. 
and then we mash them together, we see what we get. Additionally, as a little side note, any comments you leave with any name suggestions for any Pokemon, I'll be giving them priority. It's a little incentive. Please comment on the video. I am at the mercy of the algorithm, and no one like me. <laughs> and hey, while you're down there, give a little subscribe. Wink. Number three. If the creature dies, it must be put away forever. Never to be seen again. Okay, yeah, except that's kind of lame. So actually, uh, 3A is that uh, when a Pokemon dies, um, we defuse it, and then we can fuse its parts with other Pokemon. We just can't use the same species again. Because, like, there's 16 goddamn gym leaders, and, like, a normal Nuzlocke run is already grueling enough, and I want to see all of them, and with 176,000 combinations to test, I'm going to get funky with it, okay? I want to see the funny little guys. I don't feel any shame about this. And if you're going to hit me with a get good, um, then I hope your crops wither and your fields run barren and the salt of the earth absorbs to your skin and you die a thousand deaths uh, deep within the earth. Anyway. Also, just like a side note, these DNA slicers are $200 a pop. How is a 10-year-old supposed to continue buying these? These aren't like Bionicles, where they're like $5.99 a pop in a little tin. No, this is a, like, admittedly, like, penicillin's like the same price. Here, it's like $200, and this is a DNA slicer. But, like, again, 10-year-old don't exactly have an allowance. The only way I'm getting money is by killing other 10-year-olds and looting their pockets. And they don't have anything. Best case scenario is they might have, like, a Bionicle that I could resell for $5.99. Sorry, I just watched a Lego documentary. It was really good. It was entirely about Bionicles. And so you cry, well, this is very, very similar to the average Nuzlocke. Surely there must be some sort of greater difference to make it the Pseudo Lock, other than the fact that Pseudo is playing it. And you're right, there is! Here on Pseudo Streams, we have one major rule set difference to the average man. We understand soldiers die, and we understand that they will be forgotten if we don't go out of our way to remember them. Oh my god, it's Memorial Day. Is this insensitive? Every Pokemon that dies on our run will be memorialized. When a combination has reached its limit and we go to unfuse it and return it back to its scrap box, I, the talented artist that I am, will do them justice by opening up my art program that I purchased six years ago and I will be memorializing them. Like so. I have to draw a Pokemon getting obliterated. We miss him every day. And so, with these rules set into place, the pseudolock could begin. We are 10 years old. Uh, our name is Grist. I'm really excited to play a Pokemon game again. It, like, it's been a while since we've done this on the channel. Wait, are we going to have to buy the fusion things as well? Oh, this, is gonna, this might be, this might be a, a really funky little, little run. Go and grab your Pokemon off the table! No, uh, no fair. When does Grits get to pick his first? You'll get one too, Wood Chipper. Be oh, you'll get one too, <laughs> Wood Chipper. Be patient, you little prick. What are we picking as our first Pokemon? I'm gonna put a vote up. Thank you all for your participation. Thank you for your voting. Please take your sticker on the way out. We're gonna go with this sweet little freak. All right. I get to nickname this. There's no names in the in the, the barrel right now. That means it's a uh, this is an all me now. I'm gonna name him. Um, that's Detroit. You have to be shitting me. You have to be shitting me. You can't use. You can't use. I don't have a fused Pokemon. I have a regular one. That's not fair. I have a grass type versus a water and a fire type? Are you kidding me? Squirt! <laughs>
Unfortunately, the very first run died out about six minutes outside of town. So we had to go back to the lab. Oh, no. No, 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 But run number two, that's the special run. Geo dude, god damn it. Okay. Uh, all right. Everyone, welcome Smartweed to the family. Well, Gramps just got me one of those new DNA splicers they were talking about on TV. The, I'll take the other. I'll try. You ever feel like you're, like you get bad deja vu? Anyways, whatever. Later, loser. I'm playing God. We'll see. Geodude is a really scary one for the Abomination rating. Like, the scale with which Geodude is gonna get... Oh my god! I don't believe it. How could my cool, fused Pokemon Lee lose? <laughs> this Pokemon is completely worthless. I'll find some better ones. Anyways, I'm off to collect gym badges. Smell you later! <laughs> You're right. All right, we're off to Viridian City. Are you a battler type? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do it. That's our way. We can do that. Just a normal Pidgey. Oh my god. Geodude gets to live out the thrill, like the, the desire that we all have to punch a bird out of the sky. Every person on this earth, when a bird flies by really close, gets the urge to just spike it out of the sky like a volleyball. It's a universal human constant. Magosberry, interesting. Yes. Slugma! Ooh! Oh my god, if we get a Slugma and fuse it with Geodude, it might be really awful. Like, it might be really bad that's that's frightening actually that might be disgusting oh Gronk how is my old Pokemon doing well it seems that I like you a lot what you have something for me I've literally already forgotten it was like 10 minutes ago I'm losing it I'm getting a little crazy I'm starting to encounter some dementia the music cutting out is so weird. It feels very creepy. Yes! Yes! It's fucking time! Okay, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him! Things were seemingly going pretty well, though we had some fallen soldiers. Come on. Hey! Okay, we're gonna make a little abomination. Okay, everyone, welcome to the team. Please, God, burn it. Wow, this is fun. We've got such a weird little group. How do I get out of this hell? Oh my God, if we had gotten a Ralts of Spinarak, can you imagine if we got like a tall spider lady later later on? It would have been horrible. I don't know why I just lowered its speed. Uh, it's psychic. Psychic is strong against bug. But the pseudo lock remembers. And in our Discord channel, 
We store and archive every Pokemon who's ever passed through our hollowed halls. Okay, so listen. Beating Brock took like four streams. Do you know how bad that is? Statistically, that's like an average of eight hours to get to Brock and to beat him. He's literally two towns over. There are 16 of these guys, and I am all out of cash. But we have been through worse. I like the other Mick Jagger better, but this one's fine. Uh, Joe Pesci? Great. Fantastic. This is my original son. I love him as- I love him as much as a father can love- love anyone. Um, and this is my other son, who's honestly... something. So, this is what we're rocking right now, and I've- I've lost a lot of boys. I've lost a lot of boys over the years, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, apparently, there's a Mount Moon is like right outside, and you have to go through Mount Moon. And nobody told me that, because I haven't played Pokemon Red in maybe 16 years or so. So we took it slow and steady. I don't remember where the Snorlax is right now. I haven't played Red. I have not played Red and this Red storyline for a very, very long time. I imagine the Geodude looks on with a palpable fear of what could happen to him. Because that is a Geodude who is a hostage inside of a mushroom's body. Oh, Cyndaquil, how I wish we could be together. The slime-based Pokemons, uh, look like they're holding other Pokemon hostage. It's really fucked up. Okay. Interesting. You know, if they made a low- they mixed the low punny and the Vaporeon... Some people would start talking. I ain't saying what they'd be talking about, but they'd start talking. I, I really like Ninetales. It's one of those, like, Pokemon that I, I keep in my heart. It's a cool Pokemon. Oh, stanced up, huh? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! No! Games Line TV! Games Line TV! Formerly video game Choo Choo of Games Line TV? I can, I can run a promo, hang on. Let me, um... Testing. Games Line TV. It's in the game. Hello? Am I back on? Hang on. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, let me turn it back on. Alright. I don't even remember what is, like, fully disabled anymore, so we're just gonna do our best. Anyways, everyone, welcome to, uh, Pseudo Streams. Hello, we're in the middle of a Nuzlocke run, the Pseudo Lock. It is like a Nuzlocke, but with extra variables to my protection, and also, um, when a Pokemon dies, I unfuse it, and then I can make another fusion using those Pokemon, rather than just throw them in the trash. Does that work? Do I have it on this, this scene? Testing, 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 testing. Fuck! Alright, yep, that's what the blue button means. Alright. Okay, I got a new DJ kit. It's got a bunch of buttons on it. And it doesn't default back to the voice. Just leave me alone. Alright. Change the voice back? I'm not changing the voice back. I'm not going baby mode. I've got... I've got what? I've got baby mode. I've... Um, I have... I have... Oh, wait! Wait a minute, I left my display capture- Oh, this is perfect! You can't see me? Which means you can- You don't know who's talking. This is- Hi! This is Seduna? I'm Seduna Streams! I'm- I'm- This is Girl Pseudo? I, um, love to play video games. And... That's it, actually. I'm not going to contribute further to that joke. I also have, this is called male pseudo, which I'm going to refer to as, uh, what's something manly? 
Um, uh, this is, um, Crudo. Crudo streams. Uh, because we're crude. We play crude games like Gears of War on this stream. Um, you know, not really things cut out for girls. Uh, you know, like me and the boys hammer of dawning each other in the backyard. You know how it is. We're smacking some, you know, tea bags and, you know, paying our respects to the, uh, the big gods of gaming like XQC. Um, and then there's. <laughs> Someone entered the room behind me, and I've got my headphones on. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Dragon Breath is about to become such an incredible crutch for me. I'm about to be using Dragon Breath on every single Pokemon I can find. Hang on. Yeah, so um, it looks like we're... So I've been playing... Uh, I've been getting into this uh, recently. Oh, shit. Hang on. We need... We need... Hang on. <laughs> cool. Now let's learn to climb walls and ledges. Now jump up onto the crate, big shot. Okay, you all got to agree with me. If people enter the this chat, they just got to go along a double jump. Now you'll need to do a jump and hang. Get a find him and tag him. Oh man, I was a big tagger back in the day. I used to hang around with my bros and we'd go tag shit. Go on a little tagathon. Bits over. Move on. <laughs> it's my stream. If I want to ruin the content, I'm allowed to. Did I, how many, did I lose viewers while I was doing that bit, do you think? I think I have baby doll eyes. I can do that. Hang on. I've got that that Pepsi Cola pussy. That um that uh that that one that um what is her name? Mi Miss 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 Kalavana? What's that fucking what the hell? The mistress of Seventh Street? What is her name? Lana Del Rey, got it. I got it. I got it. I got. I got it before you said it in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she's got Pepsi Cola pussy. Look it up. After a few hours of grinding, though, there was a gap in the armor. I forgot to cure the antidote thing, and I'm really hoping to God this isn't. That's more like it. It wasn't so hard, now was it? Uh, I don't know how to do an Italian accent right now. How do I do an Italian accent? Yes! <laughs> yes, I want to oversee every single step of this personally. No, that's a vampire. Fuck! Uh, the results of the... Oh my god, that's just Dracula. Um, yeah, fuck it, he's Dracula now. The results of this test could be the finding moment for the organization. Uh, Roger, Roger that. Let's put the. <laughs> Looks like we're all set up. I'll finish the final preparations and be ready to launch the test. Okay. All right. A creature so horrifying it could only have come 
from the experimentations of a scientist who wanted to defile the creations of this earth. Happened to have a poison type that was super effective against every Pokemon that I had. Who let this child in here? No, we can't afford any distractions right now. Oh my god, I have to fight the scientist? Okay, that's a poison type. Uh, poison, 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 P -p -p poison. I don't know if I have a solution against this. I don't know if I have a solution against this. What's good against poison? What's good against poison? Strox, what's good against poison? Steel? I don't have fucking steel! We are so fucked. Yeah, we'll have to make do. Pablo! Okay, 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 okay. Ah! I think it's time. I need better music for this. All right. Marge Simpson, thank you for your sacrifice. You've done everything in your power and I'm gonna, we're gonna make this right. To war. No, he fucking died before it. No. No. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Um, new tactic. New tactic. New tactic. New tactic. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? They never see it coming. No! 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 Why is he so fast? Why is Why is he so fast? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, smoke screen. I think he's special attack base. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Oh god, it's bad! Oh my god, it's bad! Oh no 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 Oh, he's confused, he's confused, he's confused. The whole run is done. So on to run three. Now normally this is where I would put the footage of how run three has been going and our progress and create some sort of montage uh, set to Rusted Root that would be really incredible or maybe that Summoning Salt song. But we haven't done that yet. Run three has only just begun. We will be defeating the defiled creatures of this forbidden town 
much like the Bloodborne Hunter. And hell, probably right now, I'm live. And probably, right now, I'm beating the Elite Four. And you can check that out at twitch.tv slash pseudostreams. Where I will be cataloging and honoring the dead and those who will fall from our grand brigade on our way to the top as the champion of... What the hell is this route called? What is the... Is this... Hoen? Hoen? Kanto and Joen. Joen? There's no way it's called... Oh, Johto. What the hell are the Savi Islands? So, hopefully, I'll be seeing you there at the stream. 8 p.m. EST. I will be attempting to do this for as long as it takes, I guess. I don't know. This uh, Every other Nuzlocke I've ever done has taken me weeks to finish. I don't know how this, this is going to be so bad. See you then!